so the, uh, the thing I want to start off with um, for the semester as we're starting to really kind of push forward into that vector versus raster stuff um, is to understand what resolution is and how it can be challenging once you get to your product stage. And I'm, I'm jumping ahead, you know, like a lot of people don't start off a rendering class by talking about the product you're creating, which is a physical like piece of paper or poster that you put somewhere. <coughs> um, but I think it's important to really understand that when we start looking at the resolution of the images that we're setting up, um, because it's a critical component, it's like the basis upon which we make all of our decisions and, and we have to create all the details. Um, smaller images, right, like little thumbnails, even if it's going to be printed out as a little thumbnail, doesn't need as much detail in the rendering as a full size, like eight foot by four foot poster, obviously. So um, anyway, let's get into Photoshop and let's start looking at that effect. So um, what you are familiar with at this stage is the resolution of an image that you're working on in Photoshop, I think, right? Do do any of you not know what I mean by resolution of an image in Photoshop? Okay, so let's open up a new file. And uh, notice how it says um, 7 by 5 by 300. Um, I'm going to bump this down to uh, 150, just because, you know, some images need, well, anyway, we'll talk about it. Uh, so we're going to do, we could do it a bunch of different ways. We could set this to pixels or we could set it to inches or centimeters, millimeters, whatever. Um, I'm going to leave it on inches so you really understand. Um, well, anyway, let's just take a look at that. So we've got 150 pixels per inch. Switch it over to pixels, we've got 750. Well, do the math. It's really as simple as saying 150 pixels per inch times 5 inches, right, interchangeable. Um, I don't think that's new to you guys. So I'm going to just say, um, OK. Now, what it creates is a canvas for me. And if you go to view and you go to rulers, it's going to show you five inches at the top and the sides. Um, that's uh, here, right, zero to five. Um, I can actually right click that and switch it to pixels. And you'll see that it's going from zero to 750. OK. Um, hopefully, that's not new to you either. But it's OK if it is. Um, but anyway, so the, so the image here, right, our, our canvas is 750 pixels or points wide. If you go to something like Google, right, and you're trying to find images, right, and I'm just using this, you know, pulling a Google image as an example to show you scale. Um, go to a really cool image. All right, let's take the wolf face. Uh, what's the resolution? All right, so the resolution of this one is 1440 by 1080. Um, maybe we need to find something a little smaller. 14 by 810, 225. All right, cool. Yeah, we can work with these. So here's the uh, 1488 by 810. I'm going to copy that image. I'm going to go into Photoshop. And I'm just going to say Control V. Okay, it did not come in the size of my image because obviously it's larger than my image. Um, the the uh, smaller one, on the other hand, is actually going to come in much smaller. This one right here, 225 by 225. Copy that. Go in here. All right, so that one's much smaller. Okay. The difference is, and the reason this, the detail needs to be so um, perfectly calibrated, let me go get that bigger one again. Um, I should have just left it in there. Copy the image. Go in there. Okay, so um, if I were to take, say, the smaller image, right, and I zoom in on it, you guys are familiar with that, right? The fact that, you know, if you stretch it or, you know, zoom in on it, it's going to look like a pixelated, right? Like it, none of those, you know, wisps of air look like a line anymore. Well, it will be the same case if I make it bigger. So if I free transform this thing, Whoops, didn't mean to do that. And I stretch this thing out. Not only is that one not proportional, but you can already tell just by the canvas you're looking at that it's not as it's not you know well calibrated. So um, oh, did I delete a layer? I think I did. 
Um, got the other one. Let's see. So here is the comparison one. Not exactly the same scale, but you can tell that the difference between that one and this one, this one is far sharper. Okay. So the point I'm trying to make is that the higher resolution you render it at, the better product you're going to get, right, in terms of like size and quality. Now, um, why is this important? Well, rendering takes a long time, especially with Maxwell and especially on these computers. You guys are going to be rendering these things for hours. Okay, you might not really care that much about it right now, but you will care about it when you're trying to do your other work and stuff too. Um, so as we progress into learning about this stuff, you must focus on the resolution of your image, okay? You want to know ahead of time how big you're rendering every single image, and you wanna set up Maxwell to produce exactly that size image, no more, okay? So a general rule of thumb is that you have some leeway to kind of like scale things, but you don't wanna scale any more than 10% of your original image size, no more than 10% smaller, no more than 10% larger. Okay. Questions? No questions whatsoever. All right. Cool. So there's your little intro on that one. <coughs>